All right, so in this video, we are going to go over how um, templates work. Um, templates meaning that you can create, um, as I've actually already showed you um, in previous videos, how to create templates, whether it be for modules, um, pages, rows, or even columns. So um, what's cool with the Beaver Builder plugin, which I, the Beaver Builder Pro plugin, at the very least, is that you get this little option over here that um, it says Beaver Builder, you use your templates, your saved rows, your columns, saved modules, categories. And then, of course, there's just an add new where you can just add whatever you're trying to add. Uh, if I click on saved modules, you can see that this says red button. And if I click on view, this is actually the red button that we created in a previous um, video. So what happens is, is that let's say we want to make a page template, right? So what we'll do is, is we'll come over here to template and we'll click on add new. After clicking on add new, <clears throat> you can create a template, a page template means page template, saved row basically is exactly that. You can create a saved row or a saved module. We want to do template and I want to go ahead and title this template um, interior or service page service or no yeah let's just do service page click on add saved template and then for the most part you'll just click on launch beaver builder after that now from that it gives us this blank slate right um for the course of me showing you this template or this 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 um how to work with templates the biggest thing that i'm going to go over is i'm actually going to build out like a, a, a very simplistic page so uh, i'll walk through it this is not to go over modules but this is for me to show you um how to save a template and i actually want to create a page instead of just installing a default page but nevertheless what you'll do what i'm going to do is come to rows um, come in here. I'm actually going to add an image. So I clicked on the wrench icon. We're going to scroll down. It says background. Click on photo. Click on select photo. Select files. Let's go ahead and go to my downloads for desktop. Looks like. And click on this cool little food truck photo. Right. So we got the food truck photo and click select. Um, from there, we're actually going to set a uh, minimum height. Let's go ahead and make that minimum height right around here. Um, scroll down a little bit more, and we're going to do a background overlay for a color. Let's just go ahead and do black. Over here to the right, you can see the opacity. I'm going to lower the opacity just a bit. Click on save. Um, from there, I'm going to drag out a headings module um, and say I like turtles for whatever reason that that what that's what came to mind I'm gonna update the color I'm actually gonna add this color to my palette so that I don't have to continue typing that out and I want this to be centered and make this bigger right Make this actually let's just go ahead and commit to 80. Um, from there, let's go ahead and just drag out a text editor and let's grab some Lori Ipsum. So paste that in there, style it. We want that text to also be white, we want it to be centered, and let's go ahead and make the font size 22. I'm going to click on the advanced tab, get rid of the top padding all together. We're going to go back to the header. And let's go ahead and make this top or bottom padding here 16. That way we can kind of get these the text and the header text a little bit closer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller because I don't need that it that wide. Click on the plus icon. I'm actually going to come to saved and drag out my red button. Uh, come to advanced. And get rid of that padding at the top and then come to advance and just make this 16 at the bottom click on save so as of right now we've got like this little cool header area 
section going on. And actually, let's go ahead and do zero to zero. Um, okay, so we've got that situated. Let's go ahead and move on down to another section where we're here. Let's see. And then at this point, well, actually, let me do one column. I'm going to drag out a heading module. I'm going to say column one. Click on style. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and click on advanced. I'm now regretting that I set my margins to 16. I mean to 32 because I really didn't mean to keep it that way for this whole set of tutorials. Click this drop down. Let's go ahead and add in some text from Lori Ipsum. Uh, let's actually make this text black. I'm going to actually go ahead and add this black to my palette. Let's go ahead and keep, we can keep that font the same way. Let's actually go ahead and make that 175. Let's see. Fans, let's go ahead and make that zero. And actually, just to replicate and make sure that we got just something to visually to kind of take a look at, I'm going to go ahead and add in a separator, 32%. We're going to want that left aligned, and let's go ahead and do dotted. 32, let's do 16. Right, let's do eight. There we go. From there, we're going to get rid of the top and bottom which means I need to come back here and add some padding to the top. Let's do, let's do 16, let's do 16. All right, and then lastly, let's just go ahead and drag out another one of our favorite red buttons. But for this instance, I want it to be left aligned and then we'll do 16 and 16 again. Now, um, I already did that, so I'm gonna come here, duplicate the column um, let's go ahead and take this column and call it column number two. Um, from there, let's. I'm going to duplicate this whole row. Right. And then let's update this to say this is a tutorial. I'm just putting a header text. I don't know. Never good at this. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to delete this. And then on this background, I'm going to change this to be parallax right here. I'm going to click on select photo. I'm going to reselect the same. Looks like donut food truck. So now that that's taken care of. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this as well. And then let's go ahead and click on column one. Let's go ahead and call this column three. Let's go ahead and call this column four. And then let's just go ahead and, I don't know. Let's add a contact form. Let's, let's allow that to be the last thing we add. So we've got the contact form. Um, I'll just keep this. Well, no, let's go ahead and have a little fun. So click on save. I'm gonna go ahead and click this back button and let's just go ahead and make the background color our favorite red color. Boom, Whew, that's a lot. Um, from there, click on save, click the wrench icon. Um, we want the, let's see where we're at, button send. All right, so button text color, text color, color, send capture. Huh, that's interesting. Field name placeholder. Yes. That's weird. It won't allow, it doesn't give us the option to edit the color there. So what we're going, I'm trying to see if we can edit the color here for the titles. But what I'm going to do is click the wrench icon and come to text color and make this white. And as you can see, that changed the color of that text there. So that was kind of like we've done enough websites to know like, okay, we didn't see the option in this module, but we do know that the row does have an option to um, uh, uh, tailor the color of the paragraph text and even headers to that degree. So we just went on ahead and did that. I'm going to go ahead and make this column a little bit more skinnier. Click on the wrench icon and just for the heck of it, 
I'm going to center that. Let's go ahead and make that full width. And then the button text color is fine, but the button itself, well, no, it's not fine. The button itself is going to make the button white. Let's go ahead and make it white again. But in this case, we're going to make it the opacity clear. Let's go ahead and make that that color. Let's say we want the button text to be capitalized. So as of right now, you see it's just like set to default. Let's go ahead and transform the text to be uppercase. Um, and then lastly, we've got button borders. So general on hover, we want it to be white and we want it to be a solid. No, we're good there. So we're here, it's gonna make that opacity lower border radius and let's go ahead and do two 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 click on save and then i'm going to go ahead and preview this real quick so we've got i like turtles <laughs> um and then you can kind of see that image floating in the background in another column and then you can see here where we've got the button that does this little hover effect here right um so we just made a page or you know, or we made a template. I don't even call it space because this is uh, this is not active. And, you know, just for the sake of it, let me actually come here, scroll down, contact us. Right. All right. Cool. So, oh well, to be thorough, come to advanced. Let's actually do zero. All right. So uh, we've came here. You can kind of see the page. I'm going to go ahead and click on the P button again. You can see that we've got all of our information in here. This is just a, um, a simple page. Um, if we come to the um, iPad view, you kind of see how this lays out. And then ultimately, if we come here, we can see that everything is here. Um, I'm not going to fix this, at least not as of now. Um, well, let me take that back. Let's go ahead and be thorough. Click the column options. Uh, let's come here. Boom. So we're going to edit the text here to be 30. Let's do 45. Let's scroll down. We'll click on this one as well. Style. We'll make that font size 45. We'll come here and make this style 45 as well. And then we're going to go to the mobile view. Um, and then click on this again. And let's go ahead and say 30. Style. 30 and then lastly style 30 click on save and then from there click the p button now everything should be as we would want it to look i mean obviously we just quickly put this together um but we're here for the ipad view or tablet view and then here you can see now all the text is properly aligned and set up in the manner of what would just look good. Now, mind you, this is a this is a page for literally nothing right now. But um, what I did want to show is that we have a page and it's designed right. So let's say that this is just a simple landing page for nothing because that's a, or for turtles, right? Um, once you finish laying out this page, and as a disclaimer, if you, if this is the first video that you watch, obviously you might or I don't say obviously, but you may end up seeing that you're like, Kevin, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? I, I'm not understanding um, what you're doing here um, because I have not watched any of, the, any of the other videos. I recommend watching those videos before you come here. <laughs> um, but anyways, once you finish creating your, once again, this is not a page, this is a template. Um, you'll click done and publish and that template will have been um, created. Um, so what'll happen is, is what I would like to do now is go to the back end of the website hover over beaver builder and click on templates and as you can see here we now have service page right and if we click on view this is our service page right our service page template um from here um let's go ahead and click on pages let's go ahead and click add new um and let's just call this page turtles um, and one additional thing is that I'm going to go ahead and exercise my right to use one of our page attributes and click this drop down and put no header, no footer and um, go ahead and click on launch Beaver Builder. Now, this is our new page with no header, no footer. 
what you how you activate that um, template is you click on templates and from template you can click this drop down click on saved templates and here you can see our service page if we click on that here goes our turtles service template page and all we would do from there is click on done and publish and everything is here right real easy real simple from the aspect of how to create a template and remove a template now um, another few other ways you could have we could have created a template is if it, let's say we would have created the turtle page first and decided to lay everything out. If you click this drop down button here, you can actually save a save a page at any given point in time um, by clicking save template here or click, clicking command or control J. Um, and by doing that, you'll get a familiar pop up and you'll just name this um, whatever you want to name it and then click on save and this will immediately get saved in the templates option in the back end of your WordPress website. Um, let's click done and publish there. Um, pretty much the same way as the button. If you recall, we created the button on a page and then saved it as a module from a page. And then that's what allowed it to um, get saved back here um, on the back end. And if we come to templates, once again, you can see templates are saved here. Um, the same way we created this whole page is the same way that you can create a saved row. You can click add new here. Same exact way that you can click saved columns, right? You can just simply click add new um, there. Um, one additional thing that I did want to show you is let's say um, you have a template that you just you know you have, but you want to install it on another website. Um, what you can do is actually export that out. Um, the way that you would make that happen is, is that you'll come over here, click on tools or hover over tools and click on export. Once you click on export, you can come over here to where it says templates, click on that. You don't want to export all you want to export out selected. And then here you can see that we can export out the button, the service page, um, or just the button or just the service page and then you would basically export that out it would give you a file and from there you'll come back and click on import and then you'll just simply import in those files um, into your website or into your new into your other WordPress install so I hope this video kind of goes over you know the benefits of creating templates whether it be pages rows columns or modules um, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave um, them down below in the comment section. Um, also, if this video brought any value to you, please feel free to subscribe. I plan on put, producing many more um, tutorials on with Beaver Builder, WordPress and things of that nature. Um, but with that being said, I guess I'll catch you in the next video.